I'm Boosting G's rider, wrapping up my hike. I was up there filming a video about campground selection and security. Guy come up there, asked me what I was doing. We talked about the camera and everything, and I would tell him it's a motorcycle video. So he started talking about what's the best touring motorcycle that you can have. Of course, we disagreed on some things, but he wanted to make it more of an argument, so I just walked away from him. So what I'm gonna do, when I get another, another spot, I'm gonna tell you the truth about what the best motorcycle for touring on the planet, soon as I get to another location. I'm gonna film it today, live. Found another spot. So you wanna know the truth about what's the best touring motorcycle on the planet. I'm going to give it to you straight. It is 100% the Honda Goldwing. No, no, no. The Harley Electric Glide. Or is it the Yamaha Touring Bike? Oh, no, 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 no. I know what it is. I have a friend who has an Indian. Indian is a de definitely the best touring motorcycle on the planet. So how this guy going to try to argue with me with what's the best? Nah, let's just put it like this. You start riding motorcycles, right? You got into motorcycles for the freedom of riding motorcycles. Now you want to take longer trips. So you want to get a touring motorcycle. Now you had this motorcycle for let's say two to five years, you're comfortable on it. You want to take longer trips, but somebody told you it's not for long trips and you believed them. Here's what I'm getting at. If you think you don't have the best touring motorcycle on the planet right now, then you're about to spend a lot of money. No doubt, you're about to spend a lot of money because you're gonna go buy what somebody telling you the best touring motorcycle to go cross country or long distance trips, and you're gonna go out there and buy it. So, what is the best touring motorcycle? Let me put it to you like this. I ride a Honda Goldwing, 2015 Honda Goldwing, and everywhere I go, people are telling me, uh, man that's the Cadillac that's the Cadillac of touring motorcycle if I had a bike like yours I'll ride cross country too bull now don't get me wrong right out of the box I bought it off the showroom floor the motorcycle was comfortable but what is comfortable for me to ride cross country long distance no I had to do a few modifications so when you make your bike comfortable for you no matter what type you bike you're riding then you know if you are able to do touring on that motorcycle. So what did I do? Initially, if you know the Honda Goldwing, your legs are up and down like this, like sitting in a chair and I love it, I'm comfortable sitting on it. But if you got bad knees, then you want you to spread out. So what I do, I put highway pegs on it, first thing, was it ready? No, second thing I done was I got a backrest. Was it ready then? No, it wasn't ready, even with my backrest. Third thing I done is on my long distance ride, even though the seat is extremely comfortable, it just wasn't comfortable for me because I was getting hot spots and had to shift over from one place to another. And so I just went purchase a Airhawk. So when I purchased an Airhawk, was my bike ready for long distance ride? Yes. Did I prepare? Yes. Second example is those of you who've seen our videos, our first long distance trip. You know, Cake rode a Honda Shadow 750, 7,100 miles and 2,100 miles with no problems. But was it ready how to package for her to ride touring? No, she had to do one thing first. She got her windshield, perfect. Second thing, she put her highway bars on it. She could relax, perfect. Third thing, she put a throttle lock. So if we're on a highway going a long distance, she relaxed. It's getting more and more comfortable for her. Fourth thing, she put a backrest on it and she rode that bike 7,100 miles. I was told you couldn't ride a Honda Shadow that long. You're going to be uncomfortable. Did she get a new seat? No. Did she get an air horn? No. So it fit her. Now, if you're riding a bike where well, your handlebars up here and you're comfortable riding that bike for long distance, then that's the best touring bike for you. Just like when you bought your motorcycle, you were asking, what's the best motorcycle? There is none. It's the best for you. The bottom line is there is no best touring motorcycle it's what you make more comfortable for you to ride will become the best bike guarantee so stop listening to these people who 
in the motorcycle magazines and been riding for this many years and, and they test these brand new bikes coming out that they don't own. They don't even own these bikes. They're testing them coming out and they're telling you this bike is better than that bike. Or this person will ride one brand, this person will ride another brand, and they never switch. But they don't even own the bikes. They haven't, you know, you ride it 200 miles, you say, okay, yeah, this is good for long distance. You don't know. So here, save your money. Stop running out there and buying bikes based on these people reviews when you have a bike. We were in Tennessee. A guy rode a bike from Arizona to Tennessee and it was a sports bike. He was lying down like this. No, he did not trail it. He rode it. So my question was, hey, aren't you cramped up and everything? No, because he made his bike comfortable for him. He put a seat bag on, a, a tank bag on it that was up high enough to where he rested on the tank bag and rode that bike. But he was out there on a sports bike and he had to get back home. So he done the exact same thing. Now he could have been lying. He could have been cramped up by the end of the night, but I don't know. But if you're not cramped up by the end of the night, then the bike you own is the best bike for touring. You got a bike that's built for this. Once you make it comfortable for you, you will be able to do any amount of trips that you want to do. There's no doubt. Now I know there's some preparation that you have to do for us taking shorter trips, making it longer trips and all that, but we're not even gonna discuss that. I'm just, just ticked off because somebody gonna tell me, gonna argue with me or try to start an argument with me on what's the best touring motorcycle. I personally think for me, it's my Honda Goldwing. If I would switch bikes, it won't be because I want a better touring bike. It's just if I switch bike because if I switch bike, then I still like the two long distance ride. So I'm gonna make that particular bike that I change the best touring motorcycle bike on the planet for me. So I have to tell you, there is none. There is no best touring motorcycle bike for nothing. Now, there are some best speed bikes. There are some more comfortable bikes that straight out, out the box where you don't have to do modification to. And if you're like that, you got a bike right out the box. Don't have to do no modification. And you can ride that thing long distances. I'm talking about seven, eight, nine hundred miles or more. Like a thousand miles cross country. Then that's the best touring motorcycle for you. So it's what's best for you and what you make it. Now you may know that Kate got a new bike since the Honda Shadow 750. She got a 1800 Goldwing F6B. Not the full dresser, but she got that. And was it ready to ride right out the box for her? Probably, but she got a custom seat and put highway pegs on the thing. So now she's riding that bike all over the country. My friend who has the Indian, got his bike spruced up. This man ride with us almost everywhere we go. And he's ready to go ride cross country because his bike is now comfortable for him. If I was to ride that Indian, I'd probably keep him riding 300 miles because I'm used to my bike. So bottom line, there is no best touring motorcycle is what you make of your bike so that's it i personally think mine is the best you talk to 20 people they're going to take tell you 20 different answers all my my advice is stop listening to people who don't own a particular bike trying to tell you what's the best bike to so for rich from boots and jeans riders if you hadn't already subscribed subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free hit the notification buttons when we put more videos up and give us a thumbs up and write some comments in below on how you think that you have the best touring motorcycle or what you actually honestly think was the best touring motorcycle. So, I'm gonna keep that short. I gotta get back on my bike and ride. And if you keep listening to people about what's the best touring motorcycle, man, you ain't gonna never go across country. You ain't gonna never ride long distance ride. So stop listening to those people, get on that bike and ride.